Hey guys, it's Cameron here with Emerson House Buyers. Every week I bring you tools, tactics, strategies, lessons I've learned, things that have helped me build up a sizable rental portfolio in about two years. This week, I want to talk to you guys about success. Um, and it's going to be a little odd, but bear with me here. So, you there comes a point in real estate, and I assume with anything in life, uh, a business especially, where get to the point where you've hit some goals, maybe some big goals, maybe some goals you thought you never would achieve in your life. You get income that you've never seen before in your life, and you've come to that pivotal point where you realize nothing's different. You realize you're the same person, you have the same thoughts, you have the same desires, you have, all you've done is just cross this point in your life. There's no it's not an arrival. And you hear people say it. I've heard so many business people say it. And so many uh, other billionaires, other successful, financially successful people say it. But it never really hit home to me until uh, I felt like I hit that point where um, I had enough money coming in from real estate where I can I, I could leave my job if I wanted to. Um, not, not I haven't made that, that leap yet, but it, it's extremely empowering when you think about it and you think, all I want to do is make enough money to be able to provide for my family, spend some more time with my family, give me the freedom to do what I want, and and be able to, to not work for the man or anybody for that matter. Just add value the best you can in the best ways you can and not have to go collect a paycheck if you don't want. And when you hit that point, you think it's so far away. And that's a beautiful thing about real estate is it's not that far away. It can be very, very close. You could shorten that 10 years, 15, 20 years into to five easily and you sit there and you think oh, I wouldn't say easily I mean I don't want to give you guys a wrong impression um, with some with a lot of hard work you can do that um, but I want you guys to be prepared to get there and I found myself doing it at some point and that's why I want to talk about this success piece I found myself sabotaging what I was doing to make sure that I didn't hit my goals too quickly now, let me repeat that. I had set a goal and was trying to slow myself from hitting my goal. I was hitting my goal too quickly and I was sabotaging myself so I didn't hit it. It's it's an odd thing and some of you this might sound totally and utterly crazy to, to even fathom this. Why would you ever not want more, more money or, or more free time or more success, whatever you deem success to be? It, it's because when you get there, you're going to be afraid. Subconsciously, uh, that this happens quite frequently. You might not even know it, but think about think about something that um, you were going to do that really was going to make you feel good or make somebody else feel good or was really going to make you uh, something, something you've been working for and, and you stop short or you don't go there. You don't show up to the event. You have something else happens. You get sick. You don't feel good. You let something get in the way. That is is this success trap or, or you getting in your way of success. It happens all the time. Um, people get themselves out of relationships. I'm no relationship expert by any means, but there have been several times I've read or seen people get out of good relationships just because they're afraid of that's it. That's that's it. That's the one. I can't I can't be in that. I'm sure you girls have watched many love stories that way, but neither that's neither here nor there. The, the the big premise is be cognizant, be aware of this. It was it was very odd. I had a performance coach that was kind of pointing these things out to me, and I didn't really see it. I was like, no, 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 I'm so driven. I want to do this. I need this. I, I must do this. And then you'll notice you'll start doing things. No, I don't need to make that call. I don't need to do this. Maybe I can do that. And you start sabotaging yourself. And it's just slowly but surely it builds in almost a snowball effect. So my question to you guys is, are you sabotaging yourself? Are you doing things today to get closer to your goal or to slow yourself from hitting your goal so you don't have the realization when you hit it of what's next? I'm not going to lie. When I hit a lot of my goals and I had a lot of money coming in, to, to me, still to me today is a lot of money. So some people, it's peanuts. But um, that, that really shook me. Because I had a lot of days where I said, hmm, I don't have to make any phone calls. I don't have to go buy any more house if I don't want to. I don't have to 
do hardly anything. Go to work. I don't even have to go to work if I don't want to. I don't have to do anything at work. If I get fired, who cares? If you guys have ever had some of these thoughts, um, it's, it's a very visceral moment. And um, it can be worrisome because you can go two ways. You can snap yourself out of it and, and move on and set new higher goals and realize it's the process. It's the journey, not the destination. Or you could spiral down until you hit rock bottom and then bounce back up eventually, hopefully. Hopefully. But uh, I just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. I, I think it was, it was a pivotal mo moment in my life when I realized I had enough money coming in. I had the people. I had the system I worked so hard for. I spent 100 hours a week working and that's not an exaggeration um it was it was madness it was tough it was difficult it was worth every penny as well emotionally financially everything but when you get to that point where you can start slowing down and i'm not saying i'm slowing down by any means but there were points when i thought don't have to create any more videos i don't have to to call these folks back and that's a big shift and if you're not careful you can you can derail yourself and be headed for something you don't want to maybe in the wrong direction maybe it's just slower to reach your goals but fear uh, deep seated in, in, in your your subconscious or uh, fear can be devastating really so take a step back sometimes and ask yourself if you're not doing what you should be if you set your goals and you set out your daily things to to reach your goals uh, why are you doing those are those not enough of a pull or do you not have enough of a hurt to push you to do that every day? Or are you self-sabotaging yourself? Guys, I hope this was helpful. Again, like I said, it was a pivotal moment in my life. I thought I wanted to share that with you. I'm not bragging. I'm not trying to say I've, I've reached a destination. There's a lot more things I have to accomplish in this world before I check out. And uh, I just wanted to share a huge, huge realization that uh, that happened for me at that point, moment in my life. And I think it can be helpful for you guys as well. So if you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. I apologize for the lighting and everything. I'm doing what I can here after my house flooded in Houston. So you'll have to bear with me. But I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in this, the, this week. And uh, we'll see you again next week. Thanks.